You're experiencing the faces at the window with every fiber of your being. If you'd like to help others feel the way you do, then you can send donations, good vibes, and poetry to the following websites. Patreon, Crowdfunder, and PayPal. This is day 11. But then, you knew that instinctively. Introducing the Fruitcakes, or the Lost Souls of Sedgley Park. The community well-being class explorers in search of reasons to live, love, and adventure. Location, the coffee shop, Sedgley Park, Tuesday, 2 p.m. A new chapter for me, George. Like a new scene from a Bronte novel. Draw the curtains just in time. That's what I say. Just in time. It couldn't have happened any sooner. God only knows what would have happened to me, George, if by some hideous fault in the turn of events that I should miss the fact that I had turned to the goddess of power boldly at the forefront of the coffee chain cafe. It was like an epiphany. Any later, and I would have collapsed right there and died of a fate of circumstance. My God. I dreamt you died last night. You did? So did I. This is the sun. You held an oil-burning lamp that suddenly... I am the light of the lamp guiding you both to truth. The truth about what? Shut up, Philip. Go with it. Go with it. I sat there in my cloak and bonnet, my muff resting on my lap. You were experimenting? Oh, George, we understand. If I were a boy, I'd want to be a girl. In the dream, my umbrella sat on the table. Oh, that is a sign. Don't you agree, Catherine? Never mind dreams. This is my reality we're talking about here. A real event that shapes my future forever. I felt numb and cold, looking around, anxiously descending into the realms of madness. In the dream? I wasn't in the dream. Yes, you were. No, this happened a week ago yesterday. I'm talking about reality. Do you both care? Good. Then hear me out. I thought I could hear my name repeated over and over by the whole coffee shop. Very theatrical. Oh, I'm lost. You'll always be lost. We all are. Get used to it, Philip. Go on, Catherine. Pray tell. Pray tell. Idiot. Well, it's very strange sensation to the inexperienced. I felt very alone, apart from the voices, which gave me no comfort. Oh, I feel alone, too. Do you know what sadness is? Please, Philip. This is about me! I'll tell you what sadness is because I've been sad for the last 30 years. It's looking in the mirror every day of your life and seeing nothing but a long, winding absence. Nothingness. Like a bleached moth that has had the entire colour drained from its essence. Doesn't matter how many selfies you take or how many different colour edits you go through. Nothing. Makes a difference to the actual, unrelenting, unmoving actuality that I am nothing. I will never be nothing. And nobody sees anything other than that pain, dying moth that is unaffected by Photoshop or self reflection or different colour edits on one's iPhone. Do you know, I can walk down Market Street and have at least 200 people bump into me. Why? Because they don't see me. I'm not there. That's because it's busy. And nobody is really there. They are in the mines, shopping, worrying, eating, working out what's next. Not there. Like, really there. at the window.com